Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. In a regular polygon of n sides, each corner is at a distance r from the center. Identical charges are placed at n minus 1 corners at the center. The intensity is capital E and the potential is capital V. The ratio of V by E has magnitude. Here we have given four options. Options are A, R into n. Option B, R into n minus 1. Option C, n minus 1 by R. And option D, R into n minus 1 by n. Now, what is the question? Here, we have given a polygon with sides uh, R n. And here, the intensity is E and potential is V. And here, we have to find out the V by E means ratio of potential and intensity or electric field. Here, we have given this four options. Here, that is not clarified. That is the polygon that may be hexagonal, may be uh, octagonal. So, here we have considered hexagonal. Okay. And the distance from the all the corners that is R. And in this question, the charge is uh, on N minus 1. It means here is the charge Q, 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 and here is no any charge because n minus 1 corners that is charge equal charge that is Q. Is it okay? So now it is clear that here is the potential. You know, potential is a scalar quantity, and so therefore. Here we have using the superimposition of all the charges at the point, this center O, that is we have using V equal to K. Okay, K means 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught. And here that is uh, N minus 1 Q upon R. Okay. Here, all the charges 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But here we have indicated that is n minus 1 because n is not here indicate that is maybe octagonal, maybe hexagonal, maybe that is triangular also. So, here and now the electric field. Remember, electric field is a vector quantity. And so, therefore, they are each other, they are their effect it becomes 0, cancel out each other. This cancel out. And only this charge Q and due to this Q at the center, resultant electric field Q is equal to K, uh, E equal to K into Q by R square. Clear? I repeat it again. Here, the electric field is a vector quantity. And so, therefore, at the center, here they cancel out each other. This is cancel out each other. Only this charge, because here is no charge. So, only resultant electric field E equal to k into q by r square and we have to calculate v by e k n minus 1 q by r upon k q r square this k q cancel out this one r cancel out so v by e is equal to r into n minus 1 that is the answer so here which option here option b is correct I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success, I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.